What's up, closers? Welcome to another Money Minute. This time around, we're going to be talking about something that has nothing to do with marketing. <laughs> it's literally, you know, between the person that is responsible for sales and the person that is, is you know, going to support the sales process on the buyer side, uh, you know, that you're working with towards a close. And that is your champion. So this time around, I'm going to be talking about how do you identify and empower your champion. Mikolai. Yeah, so the sales process, the sale is not going to happen unless everybody's involved in having fun. So you might as well invite them to the party right away. And people, so training your champion is kind of what we call this one. But um, what that means is at the end of a facet theater discovery, you have built credibility, maybe a relationship, trust, so on and so forth. Because of the way our process works is you always want to ask at the end, do I have permission? You know, are we interested? Do we want to move to the next process? Well, too many of us focus on making the champion happy. The champion being the person that you've, you've built a relationship with, you've identified their pains and challenges, you've identified that you can solve those pains and challenges, and they trust you enough to take the next step in the sales process. Okay. But here's the deal. Unless they are a, a company of one, um, there are other people that uh, have an opinion. There are other people that have uh, history with maybe another vendor that does what you do, so on and so forth, right? Some people have the purse strings. They have the but access to budget. Maybe your champion doesn't. These are all things that you need to, to discover. You need to understand mm -hmm. um, because otherwise you're just going to spend the next three to six months wasting your time. You know, you want to make sure that who is going to be the person that opposes this move? Why are we doing this? Tell me about the timeline. Okay, I get, so that's important to you and that's a top priority for you. Who else is it a top priority for? You know, questions like that to say, well, then it probably would make sense for them to be on the next call, yeah? No, 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 they don't want to, I don't want to bother them. Well, here's the deal though. You know, if we don't have them on board, it's either, right? It's either, it's, it's either we take the time now, their time now, or we, or we take our time and their time later, you know, what, what's, what's it going to be? And what, what you want is you want to build the, the, the champion relationship to say, hey, I'm on your team and you're on mine. And together, we're going to make this happen. But I need to know all opposition, all roadblocks, everything, and what's their names. Internal right. selling is almost more important to me than external selling against some competitor. Because at the end of the day, the only reason they're building... People can argue like, oh, they're building a competitor because their pricing was better or blah, blah, blah. Maybe, but usually it's because somebody internally outside of your champion said, hey, I've already worked with them or, hey, I think the pricing is better. Or, I think, I think. That's why it's so important to make little champions out of all of the oppressors so that you and your champion can win. And it's really fun to win with, with in that scenario where you feel like you're on the same team and you're fighting together, right? And you're slowly winning uh, the opposition over one by one. Um, that's a really fun feeling. I've made a lot of clients that are now friends from running uh, the experience such as this, but it, it, it takes a little bit of a challenge to, 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 to ask, right? You got to ask, but it's either, you got to look at pain threshold from two different points. It's either going to be easy until it's painful or it's going to be painful and then it becomes it's easy. easy. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I think, you know, it gets back to something that you and I talk about frequently, which is just being human, right? Yeah. You're not, you're not, you're not trying to trick someone into anything. You're trying to say, like, look, here's my cards on the table. This is this is this is what I need out of this. And here's how this is gonna help you be better at what you do. And they're gonna do the same thing. Say, like, look, this is what I'm up against in the organization help me figure out how to get around it and how to navigate it. And together you're both moving, you know, moving, moving the sales process forward because there is a clear benefit at the end of that tunnel. So right. you know, if you do it together, you know, once the deal is closed, you guys are able to celebrate the wins together. Absolutely. All right. Um, all right, closers. This has been another money minute. If you liked what you heard here, be sure to join us for another episode of Coffee and Closers next month. See you then. Right.
Money, money.